I, every time I mention a name, there's about 10 people uh, behind that person in helping. So uh, thank you, first of all, Archbishop, for coming out tonight to break bread and to break ground with us tonight. Uh, so nice to have you here. And Father Tyler, it's good to have you back. Uh, you started off this project with us a few years ago, so it's nice that you're here for this section of it as well. So I'm going to go through a, a lot of people. Um, thanking them. Doug Johnson, who is from the Archdiocese and helped us uh, through all the all the steps we've gone through so far, and we thank you for his guidance. I'd like to thank the people for the St. Vincent de Paul project. Um, Rucci Brothers is our builder. Rob Rucci was uh, the head of that, and Todd Wolf, the project manager. Peggy Nieberding is our director, and I know she's here. I saw her, Peggy, someplace. Uh, so. Thank you, Peggy. And uh, John Agaitis, I think, is here, a former director, came back for this event. Um, for the Rosary Garden, our principal, Ryan Hellum, and I know still Ryan, still Ryan here. And uh, Gina West, our development director, headed that project, along with the Koch Foundation and many school families who contributed to that project. On the building committee and church reconstruction, first I'd like to thank Kathy Hanks, who's going to be uh, shoveling with us tonight. Ron Balsnack, uh, Doug Duran, Faith Fioko, I see, Steve Drummond, Chris Hannon, uh, they all helped very much. I'd like to thank our staff, first of all, Father Scott for your guidance and help. Uh, Cindy DeRochers, who's been my right hand person. I was a right hand man, but I, I know I'm going to be PC here. <laughs> Stephen Lair, music director, Kevin Scarry, our maintenance man. Um, Judy, uh, Christine in the office, and Beth doing the 2020 project, so thank you so much for that. Wilkwarren Hall is our uh, builder, and uh, to, I mean our architect, and Stuart Christensen is our architect, along with Warren Bennett, uh, thank you for their help. Tyler Tate is here, where is Tyler, from Lewis Construction, Dalcombe, he's also going to be shoveling there tonight. They're going to be doing the building. Ryan Wolf is our project manager, Paul Seal, civil engineer, and Bill Erskine has been our lawyer to this project so far. Special thank you tonight uh, for two people who are not here. Tom Young, who started out the project with me as my uh, building committee uh, head, died two years ago of pancreatic cancer, so remember Tom. And in April, we lost our good friend Steve Mason, who was helping with the security part of the building, and uh, so we remember both of them in a special way this night. This is a very partial list to thank so many people who sat through many committee meetings, helped move, organize, landscape, finance committee. Uh, speaking of landscape, we'd like to thank uh, Peter Gladness, who uh, did the landscaping from the Parish Center, and, and Laura, head of our pastoral council. So also very helpful for all this. We stand tonight at a crossroads. Tonight we bless two projects that have been completed and we, we work on the foundation that I think is the third and biggest part of this project and as the foundation is always the unseen part but the most important part of the building, a lot of that has been laid so far in the work that has been done. The next two years will be interesting, exciting, challenging, and joyful. Hopefully two years from now, we'll be able to look back and say, we've grown closer together because we've traveled together on a unique journey that will be the groundwork for many future generations to celebrate, commemorate, and regenerate themselves in Christ's life and in our parish, our pastorate, and in our community. So this time I'd like to turn this over to Tyler Taylor. Thank you, Monsignor. And it's a privilege to um, share the microphone with you, the Archbishop, tonight. Thanks for letting me say a few words. My name's Tyler Tate, but as I've learned tonight, I think I'll just settle for other Tyler. Uh, I'm the president of Lewis Contractors. I'm a third generation builder. My family has been building uh, since my grandfather, Eugene, came back from World War II. And my oldest son, or my oldest child, my son John, is standing over there today, so he's joining us. I'm also joined by my colleague, Joseph Ribeiro, from Lewis Contractors. He's our general superintendent. Uh, he and his family are parishioners at, at another Howard County parish, um, but most Sundays you'll find him at St. Leo's downtown. And our family goes to St. Joe's in Cockinsville. 
Um, almost 20 years ago, Joe led our team that restored the Basilica of the Assumption in Baltimore. Um, and now he leads our field team, and he and I work side by side with some 60 other teammates at Lewis. You might imagine that two Catholics working side by side out there talk about religion often. And we do. Like any of us here today, all of us seek to find the meaning and the purpose in our daily work. Joe and I often talk about how, as builders, we are partaking in the act of creation, in our own humble way, partaking in the act of creation. We see it as one of the many ways to glorify God. And such purpose is all the more clear when we have the opportun opportunity to work with parishes like all of you, to build churches like we're all about to do. To us, it's a privilege to join with you and take part in this transformation, and a transformation it will be. Your architects at Milker and Hull, your building committee, who my seniors already recognize so many, we've um, so many to name, of course, assisted by Doug Johnson from the Archdiocese. This team has developed beautiful plans uh, that the men and women of our team just cannot wait to make into a reality. I know you've been on this journey for some time, and now um, together we'll enter probably the most exciting phase, or maybe the second most exciting. Thank you for placing your trust in us, and please be assured that in our planning, in our words, in our actions and deeds, we will fulfill that trust you have placed in us. Now, one last thing, in the months ahead, I ask you to pray for the men and women who will actually make this vision a reality. I'm talking about the men and women in the field who are going to make it happen for all of us. And there will be hundreds, if not a thousand, if you think of the entire supply chain that goes not just from the job site, but to all the assembly factories and out of, even out-of-state suppliers, so many folks. So pray for the work of their, uh, their hands, pray for the work of their minds, pray for their safety, pray for their spirit, pray for their motivation, and pray too that by taking part in this transformation, this humble act of creation, that they may glorify God through their work. So thank you all. We look forward to the journey ahead. God bless. I'm not giving a speech. I, I already had a bite at the apple. <laughs> Except to say that in the months ahead, in addition to doing what uh, Tyler Tate just asked you to do, I'd ask you to remember that uh, St. Paul was a tent maker. <laughs> Think about it. <laughs> and so we pray now uh, as we break ground for this wonderful church renovation. Lord God, in whom the fullness of glory dwells, we give you thanks and praise as we are gathered here today. Throughout the history of salvation, you desired to be present among your people. In your merciful love, you made your dwelling place in the temple, and there desired for your people to gather to offer sacrifice and praise. You so loved the world, Father, that in the fullness of time you sent your Son to dwell among us. Crucified and risen, he is present among us. Lord, we ask you to bless these your people, who today begin this birth fashioning a dwelling place for your presence, a temple to your glory, a meeting place between us and you. We thank you, Father, for the goodness and generosity of this community which makes this work possible, and we ask you to guide its completion. Most of all, Father, we ask you to send your Spirit to unite us in your love and empower us to announce that saving love to others, that those numbered among your holy ones might increase to the praise of your glory. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down upon this place and upon all who enter here now and forever. Amen. Thank <laughs> you.